Good evening. After Hurricane Ida closed their doors, 11 Jefferson Parish schools will reopen tomorrow, but reopening dozens more will take a bit longer and it's leaving questions over how to handle time lost. WDSU's Harrison Golden. He's at the JP Schools building in Harvey. Harrison, it's quiet there right now, but we can expect a lot more people there tomorrow night. Well, a growing group of parents and teachers will rally outside here at 5 p.m. And when they do, they will demand the state waive a mandate they say would make tough times even tougher. This is extremely disruptive. Jeff Barwa was just getting to meet his students at Kenner's GT Woods Elementary School. Then came Ida. The lower parts of Paris especially have been absolutely destroyed in the storm. By the time his classes returned this week, his kids will have missed almost a month of lessons. State law requires 63,720 minutes of instructional time each year, and that could leave JP schools having to make up for lost time with fewer holidays and shorter breaks, unless the state hands the district a waiver. We want to have these minutes forgiven so that we can recover, we can essentially recover from this disaster fully. A petition to waive the instructional time mandate is catching on. More than 4,000 people have signed within just four days. Opinions from parents and grandparents, though, remain mixed. You no, know, I don't think that uh, the time loss is just time loss, as far as I'm concerned. You know, uh, making up days and all that, prolonging it, is it's unnecessary. They already lost a lot of time due to COVID, and it's so not them losing all this time. They're just going to be behind when they go to the next grade. So we reached out to the Louisiana Department of Education about this. If you have to hear back, we'll let you know when we do. But for a full list of when each Jefferson Parish Public School will reopen, go right now to the WDSU mobile app. Reporting from Harvey, Harrison Golden, WDSU News.